Hi everyone, my name is Dee Roussel, also known as Deja, and today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. I am actually filming this after I have done the reading of what I'm going to be doing in this vlog. I originally wanted to have three to four Caribbean books that I would read for the month of June. At least two of them I wanted to read during Caribbean, um, which was hosted by Comfy Cozy Up and another partner person that I will put on the screen. But I have been in a reading slump in June and so I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted. And so this vlog is just going to focus on the one book that I actually managed to read in this one and that is Island Queen. And so I will jump in at the end of this video, probably with the same outfit just to wrap up everything. But I wanted to refilm this intro because it's not going to be the video that I thought it was gonna be. It's just gonna be a one book kind of reading vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I am now 28% into Island Queen and I just read like a few chapters that really has like my blood boiling but in a good way because that means the author did her job in getting me like invested in the story now the beginning of this book i wasn't really that invested in it because you were really just following the main character dolly or dorothy who is like living on a plantation her father was like the plantation owner and her mother was in a sort of relationship with the plantation owner their relationship is very weird to me and the only reason why i say that is because i think it was like consensual intimate acts between dolly's mother and the plantation owner but like the power imbalance with that like it's not good i also want to say that i feel like dolly's mother was also doing like this intimate act because of that power imbalance as well because she wanted her daughters to become free but yeah that's why i would think that their relationship is really weird and just uncomfortable for me but we didn't spend too long on that because then the focus really became about dolly and even dolly so far has had these experiences with these men that just have power imbalances over her so she is assaulted by her brother with all of these strong content though, I'm really surprised by how much I am enjoying the book so far. Like, I feel like it's because of Dolly's character. I like her for the most part. And I think the saddest part of this for me is that she's literally, up until this point, like she's been like 18 years old. Like it's been everything up to 18 years old. The book starts off when she's five years old and she's like bringing in this um, woman because there's like an uprising happening between I want to say the Dutch and the English but I could be completely wrong because the Dutch the English and France are like all in this right now because the story is going through like time jumps and so I think I'm getting like my facts mixed up but basically there's like an uprising happening on who's going to be controlling Montserrat I really I really need to look up how to pronounce that but I think it's Montserrat but yeah with all these time jumps like you kind of get pieces here and there on like what has happened in Dorothy's or Dolly's life and so the second time after her brother assaults her and she ends up having a child she ends up running away um because there's this other plantation owner who is kind of like a friend to her and she convinces him to take her and her sister Kitty who side note kitty was just like you assaulted my sister and so i'm gonna beat your ass basically and so she gets in trouble for that and so dolly convinces this other plantation owner to take her and kitty to his own plantation in damara and they end up like staying there and like um Dolly ends up having to leave her firstborn child with her mother because she can't take the child with her to Damara. And so it's just like a lot of drama and stuff happening right now. And I don't think it's like overly dramatic because like this is all stuff that definitely could have happened and probably did happen. Maybe not all in Dolly's life because this is like a fictionalized account of um, Dolly's life. But 
like these elements that's pulling these elements that the novel is pulling from like it's not from nowhere like this all could have happened and probably did happen to multiple women in like the 1700s but as we're like continuing the novel like when we're in Damara like I think that I was starting to get a little uncomfortable with the relationship that Dolly was forming with the other plantation owner that like saved her and Dolly is this character that she's so business minded but she also wants to be a good mother and so she's trying to like balance those but then also like her feelings for this plantation owner and this other plantation owner his name is Sells and when they were first starting to have like a budding relationship I was just like please let's not like especially because like her mother was kind of in the same situation and I know Dolly was trying to like gain her freedom for her mother all her children and all of that and I know that it was probably strategic on her part but the way that the novel was written like it doesn't feel like it was because she was trying to strategize and get this guy to buy her and her children's freedom it really felt like she was trying to become the concubine wife as the book was like calling her she even had to go to like another plantation owner who was more like a father figure to her to like ask him to like get her freedom and not the guy that she was trying to court and so like I felt like it was literally like her actually falling in love with Sells which was so wrong on so many levels because one Sells was I don't know he was like a whole adult or something when she was five years old and so there's definitely that age gap happening but then also again with like the power imbalances like it just wasn't I don't know it was so cringy and yeah he even had these scenes where like he would try to be appealing to like the Dutch people and the Dutch people were just trying to like keep all the enslavement and like just seeing all these black people as less than and he would just like play into that and you kind of find out the reasons like why he just has no backbone like at all but like still I feel like it was just the way that their love story was was just not appealing to me and I got so uncomfortable and this is a slight spoiler even though I feel like maybe all of this is kind of a slight spoiler but again like I said like we're only like 28% into the book but anyway like Sells actually ends up being a black man that's passing and so a lot of the things that he does is trying to make up for the fact that he's not white and so Dolly and him have always had like big business dreams and he's been doing good in business so far but the part that I just read like he's literally not doing well in business anymore and she's actually flourishing in like her business hiring out women to like do this housework that all of these like men want women like her to be doing and so like while her business is thriving his is like failing and let me just say that as soon as like she starts doing well for herself and then he starts going down Cell's true character really came out. Actually, wait, wait, wait. let me say that Cell's true character came out when they had their first child together and that was a baby boy named Edward and since Cell is passing like that baby came out like darker than Dolly and Dolly is like mixed race but she isn't like one of like the lighter skin mixed race people and so like just the fact that the baby came out darker than her like people were starting to allude to the fact that Cells was passing and that the baby came out darker because of like both of his parents were black and so when that baby came out darker than both of them like that's when it started to be alluded to that he was passing and then also that's when like his character started to get really no like I knew he was too good to be true but even the fact that he was trying to like romance this like girl who was younger than 18 at the time when they were like first budding their romance like I just I know the different time but that's still disgusting and just the fact that after they have their second child and the second child is passing he decides to tell her that after their firstborn was born Edward that the first wife that he has which he told her that they were divorced the first wife sent him a letter saying that she appealed the divorce and that they are still married and so he's been lording that over the like over her for like I guess years at this point because I think Edward is like 
two or three by the time the second baby comes and I think her name is like Katerina yeah that's her name Katerina and so so then like after the like, Katerina is like born and all of that and he's like so in love with her he decides that he's going to take Katerina with him to go be with his other wife the white woman and they're gonna live as a family passing until the other white woman dies he's going to take her child and take her to another woman who didn't even want his first child because she was black and so now I'm just like wait a minute cells wait 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 a minute but even the novel like says that she can't do anything about it because the children go with like the the father figure or whatever because they get to decide if they're I guess like the plantation owner but I'm also like what the heck like he literally switched so fast and I'm just like I'm so mad because I'm just like I know there's like nothing else she could do and I know like at the end of the book like she is going to become this like queen of basically Damara or whatever and I just I'm so pissed at cells but I'm also pissed at Dolly because like she got in the same situation that her mother was in and she knew she knew her father was not shit and yet she still did the same thing that her mother was doing and expected different results like I'm just so blue like I'm just I'm frustrated and I'm happy that I'm frustrated because I haven't had like a book pull out so many emotions in me in a while and I feel like I don't know like oh my gosh like, I just have so many feelings about this book already and I just can't wait to see like what else happens I know she was young like she was younger than 18 falling in love with this guy who definitely had power over her but yeah it's just frustrating and I know this all happened in history and I'm not sure like what actually happened and what didn't happen. All that to say, like I am enjoying the novel so far. I honestly can't wait to get back to it. But right now I have to get to work. I'm probably running late, but I really just wanted to read this morning. Just have a chill morning. And so, yeah, I will check in later. <laughs> to update you guys before I hurry up and go about my day. I am like 40% into island clean right now and at the beginning I know I was like saying that I was really enjoying it just because of all the emotions and stuff that it was bringing out but now the problem is that I feel like the novel is losing its appeal for me and it's only because I feel like the main character she has too many love interests if you can even call them that because I don't want to say that these are like love stories because these are all definitely relationships with like power imbalances and I think the character Dorothy who um it's based off of a real figure so i think dorothy in real life she was always using her like feminine wiles and all of that to help get what she wants not saying that she was like sleeping with all of these men but like a lot of men were finding her attractive and just wanted her to basically be um like hire her out and just like use her skills and stuff and that's how she was building like her empire but now the problem is that I'm having is the first time it happened where she was using like her feminine like energy and all of that to have all of these men um just help her like I thought it was fine like she had cells and then um Mr. Fodden who wasn't really like a love interest for her he was more like a father figure but now like the last 20% I feel like there has been like two other men that have done like the same thing as cells so she literally has another child now by another man that was kind of like cells like he wanted her but then he did it and 
like I don't think the men are the problem for me and I really don't even think it's like Dorothy is the problem for me because I was like if you really like wanted to be with all these men like that's perfectly fine the problem that I'm having is that the author is making it seem like she's in love with all these people and with all the different time jumps like it just feels kind of like instantaneous and I just I'm not really a fan of it anymore and I can see like as she's getting older she is having more of a strategic mind about it but then she says all of these like I don't know she says all of these little lines that make it seem like she's like falling in love with these guys even though like I don't know they just always do her dirty so now like the most recent one is like a prince and she was also I think there was like an Owen guy I forget what his position is and that's another thing like all these men are like starting to blend together for me and I don't know but she ends up getting pregnant by like one of those guys and the guy ends up like just dipping on her like Sal's did and I don't know I just I want better for her like I wish that she would learn from her mistakes and all of that but it doesn't seem like she is even though I think she's like 26 now so she started having kids when she was I want to say 15 and like it seems like she's just falling for like the same traps and it's just getting kind of annoying i'm happy that she was able to like save her mother and her daughter from like slavery um from their father or her father but yeah i'm just not a fan of the love interest right now at first it was entertaining and i liked how she was like like getting what she wanted from all of these men but now i'm just like 40% into the book you feel it feels like she's doing like the same thing and it's not even like building the romance between any of these characters and I'm not gonna say that I want her to build the romances between these because these are still white men like besides um one of them who was like passing which I think I mentioned in the last club was cells so spoiler alert but all of these men are like passing as white or white and so there's definitely that power imbalance there but yeah while it was entertaining in the beginning where she was literally like just getting what she wanted from these men she's still ending up pregnant by all of them or most of them but i'm gonna go finish my makeup and i'm hoping that i can finish this i'm going to a baseball game and so i'm really hoping that i can finish it in the car on the way but yeah that's my update for now I hope it goes in a better direction in the future, but I guess we will see like how it ends up going. I think the next book that I'm going to try to read is The Jumbies, just for something lighter. But I think that even has like hints of slavery in it, but it's a middle grade. So I'm excited to read that one, especially because like I saw The Little Mermaid, which actually let me talk about The Little Mermaid. To start off with this conversation, I have never really been a fan of The Little Mermaid i i don't know the story just never called to me even as a kid and so the only reason why i went to go see it is not even because i like the little mermaid but because i wanted to support a black actress doing um being in like a big film like that because i just want more black women to have like roles like that and so that's the only reason why i went to the theater and while i thought it was good for like the content um i just like I said, like, I'm just not a fan of The Little Mermaid in general. And so, yeah, like, I think it was as good as it could have been just for my own personal entertainment. I have heard some criticism about, like, her just being in, like, the same dress all the time. But I don't think I really cared about that only because, like, it was only, like, three days. The first day, she was literally, like, just getting ready and just getting acclimated into the, the castle. And then the second day was like their day of adventure. And then the third day, I think she just like puts it on and like is, that's when all like the action happens basically. And so I didn't mind that part. I also noticed the influence of the Caribbean world, which is very interesting. I definitely actually like that part that they played up like all the Caribbean influences and even though like I'm pretty sure it's a made up like Caribbean place that they were in but like my only thing with that is that they made the prince white and not to say that there's no white people in the Caribbean but like they explained the prince 
being white as basically him being found by like the king and queen and being adopted but i thought that would have been like a cool opportunity to have a black or biracial prince um i mean i understand why they didn't do it because you can't be too progressive in some of these movies but um just being sarcastic by the way but um basically i was just like they should have just had a biracial prince or something i have also heard criticism about the prince in general and how he just didn't seem like he was in love with um hallie or anything like that but he was just there for me i was really only watching hallie's part i like the underwater scenes a lot more than i like the like scenes on land i feel like it was more colorful which i really liked but yeah i mean overall it was a good movie i don't really have any like strong feelings about it i just am glad that i went to go support it and yeah but now i will go so that i can finish getting ready and hopefully i can finish this book later on finished island queen finally and i think overall i'm going to give it four stars i think that this was definitely an interesting story and i want to read more of vanessa riley's works especially because she puts women of color in times that they're not really like portrayed in a lot and i feel like the author's note at the end of island queen really put a lot of things in perspective for me but before I get into the author's note, let me just talk about like the ending of the book and how I felt about it. So I, I think in my last clip, I was saying that I wasn't really into like Dorothy just having all these love interests and that it was just kind of bothering me. And I will say that the last, I'm gonna say maybe 30% of the story didn't really focus on that. Really, she was being more strategic, which is what I wanted in the beginning. And I can definitely see why the author decided to do that because part of me feels that in the beginning she was still young and dumb and all of that. So I think that was the author's way of maybe trying to handle that. Even though she was more strategic towards the end, I still felt like the kind of vibes that I wasn't really feeling where she was not saying that she was in love with all these men instead she was basically like i can't really do anything with them because of x y and z reason but she still had feelings for some of them or really it was just one and i just i don't know i wasn't really like a fan of that i really admired the fact that she used some of her like political power and just all of these connections that she's made to help with like the rebellions that were happening but i don't know like i feel like the ending felt rushed a little bit not like super 
bad because there are like a lot of time jumps so i did have like a few problems with like the pacing and just what the author decided to focus on in like the beginning versus like towards the end and so i don't know i had very mixed thoughts about just like the overall pacing and just the character of dorothy or dolly curon thomas in general um but yeah overall i would give it like four stars but now i want to talk about the author's note because a lot of the things that i didn't really like were actually fictionalized the first thing that the author fictionalized that really took me by surprise is cells so if you remember from like the beginning of this clip or video or whatever cells was a passing black man and the author had like a separate section about her characterizing cells and she did it based off of these like accounts of like how people would describe him and they always said that he was well liked or well dressed or something like that but nobody ever said that he was like passing or anything like that and so i'm not gonna say that he wasn't a passing black man but the author's rationale for making him passing was that nobody else was described as being like well liked or well dressed if they were explicitly just like a white man i thought that that was a very interesting take on that on how to like put cells in there but i still did not like cells at the end like i really did not part of me could like really understand like his rationale and stuff but other parts of me was just like i really don't want them to be together and i did not really like him as a love interest once he took her child away from her like i i just really could not deal with that and so i never grew to like him and the way that the book ended made it seem like she was going back to him and i just i did not like it at all and i don't think it's ever really said in the author's note whether or not like that actually happened or if she decided to make that happen because even the author said that she could never really tell like how the love stories went with like these different men because dolly didn't keep a journal and so she was basically going off of all of dolly's like baby daddies and so i think most of the love stories in here was based off of what the author decided to make there were a few things that like were based off of real things specifically like the prince there was a drawing of the prince with like a darker skinned woman now whether or not that was dolly i don't know and i guess she's speculating to whether or not that was actually dolly yeah a lot of the other parts were kind of fictionalized but the men were actually real for the most part i think um she said she changed some names around so i definitely want to do my research on who dorothy is and so i looked at the bibliography just to, like cross check some things that'll be like a separate project but just based off what the author's notes said she could only go based off of her children's birth certificate since that was a big thing that dorothy really wanted to do for her children is really have like their birth certificates like really like certified and all of that but yeah i think that was like the main thing that i had like i don't really like cells at all i like the hints of the haitian revolution and i guess there was a rebellion in granada as well which i've never heard of so that's another thing that i really want to look into as well because of course i've heard of the haitian revolution and i know about that but i've never heard of granada so just seeing like the rebellions and stuff happening in the caribbean outside of haiti was just very like interesting it didn't go into too much stuff about that but like it was interesting to see like little notes of that another thing about this book was a lot of the themes were about colorism it was almost always like brought up because of cells passing and uh dolly's darker skin and there was like one scene where she goes to like the entertainment society or something like that where it's just a room full of light-skinned women who are entrepreneurs and she doesn't look like them but she's like super wealthy as well um and so there's that like 
difference that she points out and then even in the beginning like a lot of people didn't believe that she was mixed race because she was darker skinned and I don't know it's always consistently brought up and I don't think I really expected it to be critiqued because of the time period but I don't know it was just brought up a lot and so I'm thinking that it was really just brought up because it was such a casual conversation um in the 1800s starting in the 1700s i guess but yeah i just thought i'd mention that just in case like anybody was wondering um it's not really critique or anything but it's there and there's a lot of like heavy content in this so i would definitely look up content warnings but yeah overall this was a decent read i would give it four stars there's actually a second book that's not really connected but kind of like similar in the way that it's told called queen of exiles which is releasing in july i think so i might check that one out but i also kind of want to read something else so that will wrap up this vlog and i really hope that you have enjoyed it i really wish that i could have read a little bit more and even the other books that i was going to read are not that long but i just i don't know i'm just really in a reading slump and i feel like right now my focus isn't on reading but even though this was the only book that i managed to read for cribathon this year i'm super happy with what i was able to read and i'm super happy that i actually did enjoy the book overall but i just want to thank everybody for watching please like and comment any caribbean books that you've read and enjoyed or if you don't want to leave a comment maybe just leave a palm tree i think that's a is that a emoji? I think it is. If it's not, then maybe like a regular tree. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!